As experienced professionals in utility construction, I know that you take great pride in workmanship. However, there may be times when a pipe may be inadvertently damaged through handling. Additionally, a field cut pipe with protective 4-1 lining may need to have the cut end sealed to ensure long-term serviceability of the material. In this episode of Iron Strong, I'll be walking you through some easy steps to repair these areas of the pipe. Hello, my name is CJ Fowler, sales rep for Central Southern Ohio and also West Virginia. On this episode of Iron Strong, we're going to talk about the procedures and tools needed to repair Protecto 401 lining on ductile iron pipe. The tools needed for this job are mostly in this can. We also have some recommended tools. What comes in this can are the touch-up kit. It's part A and part B, the epoxy, which will be mixed together in this large can. Also comes with instructions. Mixing stick, applicating paintbrush, and sandpaper to, to file down the lining. Tools that are not included but are recommended, gloves, rag, wire brush, a file, and a chisel or a paint scraper to remove, remove the loose damaged lining. First step you want to do is remove any loose burrs or lining that may be left over. You can also use a file in this application. You also want a rag to remove any dust or debris. You can use a wire brush or your sandpaper to roughen up the surface and to also taper the blunt edges of the lining. You also want to make sure that you roughen the freshly exposed metal after the cut because you'll want to seal that end as well. After we have the surface prepped, we want to mix. And it comes in a two-part epoxy, part A and part B. You'll mix it all together in the big can. If you do not want to mix entire can, there is a ratio on the front of the can that you will have to follow if you want to do smaller repairs. Now that we have it mixed, we'll use our applicating paintbrush to seal in the area that needs to be repaired. Also, you want to fill the area, but you also want to do about an inch behind to have proper sealing from the patched area to the area that is not damaged. You also want to make sure you coat the metal that was exposed when you cut the pipe. You want to use the lining that isn't damaged as a standard for the thickness of your lining of your patch. And you want to fan it out and make it smooth. The thickness should be about 40 mils nominal. Depending on atmosphere, drying time will vary, but you want to make sure before you put it in your sewer application that it is dry to the touch. If you would like to download a checklist of this procedure, click the link in the video description. Until next time, work hard, work smart, and work safe.